Hello out there, comic book lovers. It is Friday. So you know what that means. I'm doing my Friday night reviews. I am going to take three com three comics from the previous Wednesday. So the three, what I thought were the best, and do a review of them. And then I'm going to take the one that I liked the least. Doesn't necessarily mean that it's bad, but it's the one that I liked the least. And uh, check it out. And here we go with the books I like the best this week. Uh, number three is Moths by J. Michael Straczynski. It's published by AWA Comics. It is kind of an offshoot of his other books but on for AWA. Uh, what is the name of it? Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, where's... Anyway. The... I want to say the resistance. But anyway, in, in this world, a moth is someone who has gotten, you know, the, the world went through this huge uh, pandemic. Millions of people died. And then it just stopped. Uh, there's a theory that, you know, this thing was created by out there somewhere and then people are controlling it and they just shut the thing off. So all these people, no one's dying anymore. But some people, oh yeah, it's a, yes, yeah, resistance. Out there. Um, and there are people who are known as moths who have developed uh, superpowers. And a mo or people who have developed superpowers. Moths are the people who whose powers haven't manifested yet. I guess you have to do something to manifest your powers. But once your powers manifest, you only have six months to live. And this one right here is part one of six. And this person right here is uh, the main character. And it's told from her point of view. So basically, you know, she's, you know, uh, basically writing stories, writing her stories. Uh, her name is Emily Kai. And she's talking about, okay, there's two things you have to do if you become a moth. You know, you have to decide what you're going to do. You know, um, say that you have the power, let the government uh, come out there and make you manifest it, or if you can't manifest it, they'll still have control of you, or you'd have to disappear and do it on your own. So it's her running off to this one place with some friends. It's, it's kind of an underground railroad where they go and uh, get this procedure well, they find out that they have the powers, whether they have the power or not, which and she does, and then you have to decide what you're going to do. Are you going to manifest the power or not? This is really, you know, uh, the resistance one is going to be, uh, I assume, the more uh, action adventure type stuff. This one here is a character. <sighs> development because it's you know Emily's you know background story you know like with her and her her family uh, what made her get the decision to do this and then what her thinking is of why she wants to power up you know do her power very very well written just like JMS always does and the art in here is, it's almost photorealistic. I mean, this is some really, really good art. And, you know, stuff in the memory is, memory stuff is in the back, or is some black and white. Uh, modern stuff, you know, 
current time is kind of this muted coloring, but it's just, it's perfect. And the story is just incredible. Uh, if you're a fan of Straczynski, and if you're a fan of, you know, this is a more of a character development type of thing, pick this up. Uh, you don't need to have read any of his other stuff to understand this, because he kind of gets, he gets just explained. So, um, I'm going to give this a four point out of five. Just because it is so good. 4.25 out of five. 4.25 out of five. And, uh, I'll say pick it up. Anyway, uh, has anyone read this? Uh, let me know if you have. What do you think of it in the comments below? Like, subscribe, and most of all, enjoy your comments.